Hey everybody, this is Tracy C. Just wanted to show you my new planner. It's awesome. I'm loving it. It's um, the Erin Condren um, planner. So this is the first time I've had one of these and I'm really excited about it. But I did want to show you a few customizations that I've um, made already. So this is just um, some stamping up paper with some washi tape that's then been laminated. And that means that I can then put on different um, sticky notes, that type of thing, so that I've always got them with me when I'm filling out my planner. And you can see that I've put the bright ones on the other side. So really handy. I've then, like I said, this is very new, so I've only just started to um, decorate my planner. But here's just a couple of ideas of things that you can do. So you can use some punches. These punches are from Stamping Up, and I will put... A link in the description so that you can actually then get your own as well um, same with the um, word punch so again you can just then make it all match for a particular month if you wanted to and then there's a cute little rhinestone that I've added here um, as well as a little bit of doodling and then for um, where I've actually started filling out. So this is when I actually got my planner, like I said, still um, <clears throat> getting to grips with it, filling bits and pieces out. But I wanted to show you these. So last week, my three-year-old made, um, made me a really beautiful card. Um, and with the help of Kaisha wrote it out for me. So I really wanted to keep that and I wanted to put it in within the week that I received it. So let me just show you this because it is super, super, super cute. Um, so sweet, bless her cotton socks. So I've just added that to the planner um, by attaching some cardstock with some washi tape. And the cardstock that I've used uh, for this one is actually <laughs> the back um, of uh, the cardboard that comes within a Stampin' Up um, 12 by 12 paper stack. So thrifty I think um, and a little bit of washi tape and I've added the washi tape for strength but also so that I can then match these this was a sticker that actually came with the planner in itself and um, I wanted to write another little note so hence why that's been put in there as well you can then do your little doodling add in little stickers and that type of thing um, I wasn't quite sure how much I would be using um, this little section down here so for this week, which I've still got to fill out, I've actually covered it in some Stampin' Up! Um, paper. And I've made some tags. And again, these tags are made with the Stampin' Up! Punch. So this is one of the tag punches. Again, uh, you'll be able to get it from the link that I add in the description. Uh, perfect as well if you want to use up some of your little scraps of scrapbooking paper. Because then I've just added on this onto some Whisper White cardstock with a bit of ribbon. <clears throat> and then it can all match in. Or you could have contrasting, whatever you like. But just perfect for being able to add in a few more um, bits of information. You know, some notes that you might want to put in. You could have them overlapping. You could have as many of those in as you like. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you how I went ahead and um, made them or added them into the planner. So you just want to take some cardstock or some scrapbooking paper and then using the ruler that actually comes within the planner, I just lined that up to the edge and sorry, I'm filming one handed, so I'll apologise for the rubbish filming. And then I've just done a semicircle at the top of the um, circle within the ruler in itself. Um, I originally did do little circles, but it didn't work out quite so well for me. I didn't find it um, as exact as doing this method. Then take um, a little ticket punch. This ticket punch came from Staples. I think it's about a one eighth of an inch. So you could do that with any of those um, one eighth of an inch hole punches that you might actually have to hand. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to punch this because, like I said, I'm filming one handed. But what you want to do is sorry trying to do this right you just want to line it up i don't know if you can see what i'm doing at all now um and punch it out so you being clever people are not doing um 
one handed recording will be able to line that up much easier than I have. But once you've lined it up and you have then um, punched out all of the holes, you just then want to take your scissors and do a line or just cut centrally downwards like so. And if I just go back to the planner, that's how I then created these ones. So then they can easily come out and then go back into the planner. Now, if you were going to be taking them out on a regular basis, I would highly recommend that you either get the coil clips that you can get from um, Erin Condren um, dot com. I think there are a few different places that you can get them on my Etsy, but there aren't um, any that are coming from the UK that I've found. So if you're in a hurry, then this is a great way of doing it. If you wanted to make it a little bit stronger, then you could maybe do it out of window sheets and then use some double sided tape or something like that to um, adhere them. And that would work just as well. So you would want to adhere it a bit like this. So you're um, sticking it on. <clears throat> But that's just a couple of things that I've done to my planner um, so far. I will be adding more things because you know me. Um, this is perfect. I couldn't continue with stamping up due to time constraints with four girls. But I can do this. Yay! Um, and I'm really happy and I'm pretty sure that I will get completely addicted to, you know, decorating it and coming up with new things and, and that type of stuff. So um, I look forward to sharing with you again. I really hope you've enjoyed these tips. Um, would love to see any of your pictures, especially if you do your little kind of um, sticky note sheets. Um, would love to see that too. So I will be posting again soon and I will catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.